What's up guys and welcome back to Legend of Aston Villa where today we're going to be previewing our next game which is Preston on Wednesday. So Brad, another tough away game for us, back to back uh, tough away games obviously with the 0-0 draw at Blues on the weekend. How do you see this one going? It's going to be a tough game to be fair because they, they well if you look at their just their form of the last four or five games, you know they... They, they they do put away a few goals and um, our defence is quite solid to be fair so it's going to be a proper test for us and the last time I said that was against Wolves and that didn't go down too well <laughs> but yeah like I say it's, it's going to be a rough game because if they get the win they could potentially leapfrog us as well and so you know you've got that added pressure on as well and obviously the draw against Blues just didn't help the matter um, you know could, we could have pulled away a bit more but you yeah. know it's a tough asking to be fair because if results go badly for us and the teams around us win we could easily slip down, you know, um, to, just, you know, the top, just inside the top ten, is how bad it can be. Um, they, they, they can score goals. I've got a guy called uh, Jordan Hugh, Hugh Gill, I think you pronounce it. He's got a goal ratio of like literally a goal every two games, just under. So there are definitely going to be goals in this. So I think for both ends, but we could be being out. To be fair, I think that kind of going to work in our favour a little bit because he's just been hindering us a little bit too much lately and. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's going to be. Uh, it's, I think it could be an interesting game. I think it's going to be a tough asking as well for us. So, but we just got to hope that we can get this win and you know carry on the stride we've been going on. Yeah, like you said, pressing out there for that. Well, actually, yeah, five out of the last five games have actually scored two goals in each game, so that they can obviously put them away. But yeah. for them, the defense is very, very poor. Uh, we've only won actually one of the last five. Uh, which you wouldn't have expected when you've scored two goals in every game. But like you said, yeah, Jordan Hugel, seven goals already this season, and he scored two against us at Villa Park last year. They're sitting ninth, I think the two points off us uh, at the moment, so yeah, like you said, they can leapfrog us. But it's to games like this where we need to win to push the momentum, keep in the playoffs and go for the, the game for the promotion. And uh, just like teams around... The ballpark of the playoffs that we really need to pick up the three points. I mean, I think that all the players are going to be devastated from from Sunday. Obviously, with the draw wasn't the best we wanted, uh, and they'll hopefully want to be bounce back and get a win and go again. And like yeah, like I said, get get a win and hopefully get more of a gap from uh, seventh and eighth and that ballpark. Yeah, we like I say, if we can get this win, I mean, obviously results going our way because anything can happen. Um, we can you know get up to fourth, and we'll be in closing distance of Cardiff and Wolves, uh, which will be nice. Um, to, you know, because obviously um, Wolves lost over the weekend, which is quite nice to know. Um, but yeah, it's like I say, it's going to be one of the, I think it's going to make a few changes because of how bad we were against Blues, and I think it's yeah. needed. I think we do need a shake up. And for me personally, I don't think January can come around quick enough because I think we need a few additions and a few people to go, which I'll be talking about, I'm sure, at some point. It's going to be a, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a hard, hard ask. Uh, I do think Alex, uh, Alex Neil, I think he's quite a decent manager, and he's, he, you know, he's been up there. He's got promoted with Norwich, so it's going to be a, um, it's going to be, you know, he knows the same as Bruce so it's it's going to be a hard game I think it's going to be just as hard I think it's going to be even harder than the Blues game obviously because well they can score goals <laughs> that's going to be our main main problem because of how many chances Blues had you know to put one away with our silly mistakes I think if Preston had the same chances you know I think they would have uh, they would have at least scored a couple of those yeah and also a return for the two former Villa Academy players in Daniel Johnson and also Callum Robinson I'm sure they'll be playing a part of Preston's team, uh, and uh, unfortunately that we let him go really, because I think they're actually pretty good. Yeah, especially Daniel Johnson. I was quite surprised on that one. Um, I remember him coming in. He, he had quite this big, not I wouldn't say a massive reputation potential about him, but he was making sort of waves and people was hearing about him. He was wondering when he's going to break into the team, and all of a sudden he was gone, and it was a bit of a shock, really. Um, I think it's the same to be said, like like you said for Callum Robinson. He, he sort of the same. He sort of like the. Uh, 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 Murph, uh, Russian Murphy, we've got. He, he sort of that sort of mould where we we hear these waves about him, then he, he, they just vanish. Mm. Um, I know Russian Murphy still with the sport, you know, with Davis in front of him, it doesn't look promising for him. There's a few players we've let go over the over the you know the last five six years where I think we we've, we've gone to regret it because I think Daniel Johnson would have been a good player to have right now for us um, with because I think we do lack somebody like him in our midfield. Going into our predicted lineup for me, uh, there's a few changes in this team obviously that I think it needs to be uh, changed up a little bit. 
So for me, in goal is Sam Johnson. That'll always stay the same. For the back four, it's going to be Delat right back with Chester, Terry and Hutton. I don't think Taylor's going to come back in just yet. With two holding CDMs of Yednek and Lansbury. With three behind the striker of uh, Albert Adoma, Joshua Numa and Berka Bjarnson. And up top, uh, Keenan Davis. That's the team that I reckon Bruce will play. It's not necessarily the team that I'd want to play, but it's near enough there. For for me, but uh, it's something that I think Bruce will play because he's going to have to change it up for obviously energy reason, energy reasons, and uh, just to bring a bit more spark into the game. Yeah, like I said, I'd like to. Mine's similar to yours. I've been a few changes. Uh, Johnson, Delap, Terry, Chester, Horn. So it's basically the same as yours. Uh, I've got Yedinak as the holding. Uh, I've got Lansbury and Hurahan. Like I say. Hurahan had a very poor game, so hopefully he can redeem himself. Uh, like I said, the only reason why I really put him in um, is because of the lack of other people to put in, really. Yeah, no um, yeah that's the problem. I don't think Wheeler's going to play because I think he looked knackered um, after the Birmingham game, so I think he's going to be given a rest. Um, but yeah, like I said, the Hurahan lands for him, if they can start getting this partnership working together, they could become a really well old machine and they could dominate the pitch against most teams in this division. So I just got to hope and pray that works out. I've gone for a dome and snug grass, but like I say, you've mentioned Bar Jonathan, which has got me thinking, but I think I'll stick. Just because I think a dome is our top goal scorer, I think he'll stick with him. As snug grass is his love child, so. <laughs> I can't really, I'm not going to, I just can't see him dropping him. Um, I've gone for Davies up front, but obviously I think Hogan will be, you know, get some minutes as well at some point in the game. And hopefully, like you said, we move other players getting minutes. I hope Jack Grealish is in in the rounds of the team, especially on the bench, hopefully to come on, because we saw how much of an impact Jednak had on, on Sunday. So hopefully Jack Jack can come on and uh, use his magic, hopefully, uh, and we get the win. Yeah, I, I definitely. If Grealish is on the bench, he's definitely going to get some minutes under himself um, because he he's a big player for us, uh, and he's. I know sometimes he doesn't live up to the hype that everyone gives him because we all love, uh, you know, someone who comes through the academy, and we do, as Villa fans, hype him up like he's the next Messi. But uh, you know, I, Grealish is he's a he's a good player, and he's a top player. And over the years, he's had his problems with his head and his drinking. But you know, of his age, it's it's a layer, I suppose. But he's a big player for us, and we do we kind of miss him um, because against Blues, I think he would have been a big player, especially coming from a Blues family, and he's he's a big Villa fan. You know, people like that. I think we all love to have a Villa fan in you know in a derby match. And I guess the Blues love having Blues players in the derby against us. So you know, I think we we we've got our reasons. Unless it's Jolie Lescott or Mika Richards. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> going into our predicted scores, we're going to be using the fan score app. If you're on in our fan score app, the link to that will be in the description below. So for me, I'm actually going to go for a 2-1 Villa win. With Like we said against uh, Blues, I don't really care who the goal scorers are. We just need the win, but I'm going to go with Davis and Adoma. Yeah, I've gone for 2-1. I've gone for Davis and Lansbury. Um, just be nice to see Lansbury get a goal on his return. But I think that huge little score for Preston. But I, I've put him down as first goal scorer on the uh, Skybet app. If anybody out there that gambles. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you prepared to lose your money then? Oh, to be fair, I don't know if we, I, as long as we win, I'll lose anything. Don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's been our thoughts ahead of the Preston midweek game. What are your thoughts? Please leave them in the comments section below. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Please subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on to never miss a video. The link to our Facebook page will be in the description below. And also join our fan squad. That will be in the description below as well. For the original Aston Villa or the Villa.